Hey, everybody, it's Big Dog. So I still in my warehouse. We'll go through another box of stuff I picked up from an auction about two weeks ago. It was, uh, I saw the picture in an auction. I went there, got there late. And when I got there, I heard it was the first thing that sold when they got on the inside. But it was a box of Zoids from the 80s into 90s. And I, uh, my son collects them. So I saw them. I didn't know if there was any parts in there maybe we could use to make sure his were more uh, complete because some of them are missing parts. So I wound up making a deal with the guy that bought it, and I bought it off of him. And uh, so let's kind of get into what they are. Now, a lot of these are missing parts. They're broken. Uh, some are more on the generic side, the wind-ups. Some are the big motorized ones, and we'll get into this. Uh, so... For the most part, this is a big part slot, so let's just get into what we have. So here's a wind-up, Brontosaurus. He is missing his head. Uh, it does wind up. It does walk. I've already played with this one. So it's in decent shape. Like I said, it is missing some parts. It's not perfect. So that's number one. Got this little T-Rex-looking guy. Uh, his leg, he is broken right there. His leg does come off. And the wind-up is not even in there. So it's kind of snapped off. But uh, like I said, I bought this for mainly for parts and pieces to help out my kid. But at the same time, I had a lot of people asking me for Zoids. So I figured I'd go ahead and just, you know, take the chance on this box. This guy's missing a leg. A couple of other pieces. But, uh. Zoids were cool back in the day. If you got a chance to play with these when they first came out, way back in the 80s, early 90s, they uh, it was just really a, a neat toy. You build them, and then they motorize, and you can make them walk. It's kind of cool. So here's the rhino. He does have a broken leg. It is here, but broken leg. Got this little, like, raptor guy. He's got a broken leg. I think there's two different ones of these. We got this like a purple bluish one. <coughs> Excuse me. But it is broken. But all in all. That is thing. <coughs> it's like a turtle. Tank. <coughs> but his legs are broke. And like I said, they're not the best shape. I don't understand, you know, they're, they're, they're old. <clears throat> kind of like me. But, uh, so we got this guy here, a little liger. And some of these were like li <coughs> just little built. <coughs> Jesus. Some of these were little buildable kits. And like I said, some were motorized and so on. Got this one, he's missing a lot of parts. Another little raptor. He's pretty much all, all there. Got another one over here. And his leg's in the box. It's right there. But, uh, so, he's a wind-up one, too. There's another little liger over here. He's in decent shape. He's missing his tail, his guns. But like I said, if you're looking for something, if you look for a piece, I might have it here. So this little guy's kind of cool. He's missing his bottom part of his jaw, parts of the wings. But all in all, he's not in bad. Oh, oh, not damn nice. He's missing everything. So this little guy's kind of neat. It's like a little, what is that, alligator maybe? I don't know what he is, a frog? Who knows? And they came with little, like little people would sit back on the guns. So these are basically like vehicles for little guys and stuff. 
Got two of these crabs. This one's a little more complete than the other. Got all his back legs. This one's missing them. Uh -oh. Missing all kinds of shit. Now this is pretty cool. This is a little hammerhead shark. Now it's actually probably one of the nicer ones here. It does have a broken piece where the gun goes on right there, snapped off. I uh, put all in all, not too bad of shape. Here's the gun broke off. Like I said, there's a whole box of parts too. I mean, not really anymore. We kind of picked through them, but uh, I see some parts in there that my son missed, but it's all right. That's the bottom jaw of that one right there. Then I got this guy. He is like totally missing a lot of shit. He's missing his tail. He's missing all kinds of stuff. So well, he's got part of his tail. But I don't, like I said, I don't know the names of these guys too much. Uh, the Stegosaurus is kind of, He's neat, but he is just like totally missing everything. Uh, my son's got one of these with a box, pretty much complete. Uh, I think he needs a part to that one. The battery compartment or something, either that one or this one. I can't remember. He said one. Oh, this guy. This one here, he needs a battery compartment. So we don't know if it works or not. This is in good shape. He's missing an arm. Uh... He's missing a leg. You got these other ligers. Uh-oh, leg fell off. Got the snake looking guy. He's kind of cool. I saw that in the box, but I didn't know what the hell it was. So a little snake. All kinds of extra parts. I think these all go to the elephant. Uh, the elephant is missing one of his bottom feet. But all in all, it's just, like I said, these are starters. If you don't, if you're in the Zoids and you're just looking for something to start piecing together, having the fun to go find the pieces, this is your parts lot. I got this guy. Little wolf. These are really neat. I mean, the detail on these are pretty cool. And this is like the, a lion. So... Fall apart, fall apart. All right. So that's going to do for this video. It's not a super long video. It, uh, I just wanted to go ahead and just kind of show you some of the things I've been picking up. I got more videos to come. Uh, just be patient. Uh, this is Big Dog. Rate, subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends. If you see something you like, let me know. If you're looking for something, let me know. I have a lot of friends in the toy business. Uh, Till the next one, big dogs out, everyone be safe.